Hey guys, welcome to Rim Fortress, episode 3. So, when I wasn't looking, uh, first off, this guy entered the map. He's like this big dragon thing. Uh, that's my best way to call him. I mean, he's a big dragon thing, I, I don't know. And then we got, I guess they had a fight. I mean, that's clearly what happened. But, uh, this guy lost. This guy lost really badly. And, uh... I think it's a good opportunity to just kind of run out there and scoop up his body and butcher it. I mean... There's nothing really stopping me. This dude's asleep. Seems like a good decision to me. We'll get Proximal. Proximal, are you a cook? Who's our cook? And we'll get Captain Corgi to go up there and grab his corpse and butcher it. So I want to set some goals for this series. And one of the goals I think is going to be to... Uh, murder and butcher as many of these big monsters as we possibly can, just for the sake of doing it. Um, Captain Corgi, you went back. No, no, go upstairs. I need you to grab this corpse. Oh, there you go. He's going to grab it right now. I want to make basically three goals. So, my initial thought was to wipe out... Okay, strange. My initial thought was to wipe out as all other factions on the map, but I'm not sure how possible that's going to be of how many factions are on the map. That'd be the ideal situation to conquer this tiny little world we're on. I mean, there's quite a few factions, but I think we'll start off with a small goal of wiping out the dwar- the, not the dwarves, the elves. The elves are here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. They're somewhere on this map. That might be them. This might be the elves. I, I don't know. But uh, we'll have that as our first goal, and our kind of optional goal we'll be progressing at as the game goes through is to slaughter as many of these big monsters as we can. And that includes the mechanoid big monsters as well. I, I just have so much appreciation for how terrifying this thing is. I've been thinking about it for the last couple days, and even if I had 12 fully armored... Well, okay, if I had 12 fully armored and fully armed dwarves, maybe we could take this thing on of axes and crossbows and thunder guns but they're just they're, they're small armies on their own and even imagine these things are small armies on their own but uh, i'm kind of curious what this thing is going to give us when we butcher it i guess we're going to find out maybe we can make a sweet jacket out of it okay we got a bunch of animal fat a bunch of parts uh, an assortment of leather scales and okay from monster world so we can build some armor out of this pretty good sharp protection okay so we'll probably build some armor out of that when we get a chance but Animal fat. What do we use animal fat for? A lump of animal fat will spoil blah blah blah. Rather unpleasant to look at. Can be used to make candles. Alright. So we can make candles of that, which is cool. We'll probably do that in the future. We need, actually, more lighting downstairs, so it's pretty perfect. Is that something I'm going to have to research? Light and warmth. Unlocks the ability to build... Okay, yep, yeah, this is it. This is what we need. Um, let's just cancel all this and we'll go light and warmth for our next research target. And field, furnace, and stove sounds like also a good thing to pick up. And we'll just keep plowing through all the small stuff. Try to get some of this basic research done. So I bear has gone wild, uh, Zoro has gone feral, I don't know why, it happened, whatever. I put some corn up here to prevent him from going, uh, manhunting one of my animals, because he's kind of trapped, one of my, one of my dwarves. He's trapped in my compound, so he's got no sources of food, so rather than him deciding to randomly manhunt, uh, Nikal here, we've laid out some corn for him to snack on. So hopefully one day we'll be able to tame him again. He's not going anywhere. He's got food. He's trapped in a compound. He's pretty content. Oh, wow. This thing killed a giant cobra over over here as well. Man, this thing's just murdering things. Happy we're not in the fight with it. It's got extreme blood loss. It is also starving, so let's just stay away from it for now. We don't want to deal with it when it's starving. Is it going to fight some boars? No, it's going to eat some eggs here. And then it's going to fall asleep. Might fight some boars tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be here to watch it when it does happen. Man, just going around killing stuff. This island's crazy. Insects in the rim are uh, genetically altered organisms designed to fight mechanoid invasions. Really? The black hive was the best of the best designed to be more aggressive than usual. The capacity of laying siege to 
impregnable mechanoid fortresses existing infest uh, insect doid species were improved and several new species were created and added to the hive to increase its lethality a group of black hive insects have tunneled to this location and will attack what are these things mammoth horn Black Hive Mount expires in two days. Mammoth Worm. Is that you? Are you making those roars? Okay, so is this... This thing is... I don't know if this is a wild animal or if this is going to come right at us and, ha and attack our walls. It's my biggest concern right now. Also... I don't know how much health this thing has. I mean, normally my gut says this thing might not have that much health, but I've already bumped into something that has 600 health, so I don't know what to expect from the mod collection that I made. So it might not be a good idea to assume hey. anything. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I get it. You're coming to murder me. All right, I understand. Okay, all right. Um, Do at least all of you... Okay, you need a weapon. Go downstairs. You need to get a weapon, dude. Are you gonna smash it like door? Oh. Okay, he is. He is indeed gonna smash it like door. He's actually smashing at the wall, and wow, was he able to break that wall very, very quickly. All right. Um, proximal, we need you up here. Okay, there's a monster at the door. What do we do, everyone? And it can break walls in like two hits. Uh, okay, I need you to, uh, okay, can you help him? We need to do this at the same time, ideally. Okay, all right. Where are you guys? You need to be up here. Okay, go upstairs, go upstairs. Okay, that's open. Corgi's running for his life, which is the right thing to do. If I was in his predicament, I would too run for my life. Yeah, Corgi, just focus on getting out of there. No! Oh! No, no! Oh, no! He might just... Okay, look, he, it ripped off his arm in one hit. It ripped off his leg in one hit. Don't, don't open the door. Don't let him through. Corgi, keep that door closed at all costs. And these guys did not come upstairs. Hey guys, could you, uh, I wish there was a come upstairs and draft option. That would be really nice. Okay, he's down, which is probably one of the better case scenarios. Okay, there they are. Come over here, guys. We need a hand. Corgi, I want you to, this guy needs, okay, let's take a look at him. Okay, death in two hours. Can we save him? Medical. Okay, Corgi, you have an opportunity here. Get in there and rescue him. And uh, close the door behind you. Uh. 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 All right. So, here's what your guys' job is to do. We're going to close that door. So, I need someone to haul that weapon. Uh, yeah, Proximal, you're definitely going to be treating this guy. Assuming you can save his life, who knows. Um, Neil, you can, okay, you can haul this. Why don't you want to haul this? Okay, no spot that's accessible. Okay, we have spaces down here, but he just does not feel like it. Okay, whatever. Just make a spot over here. Prioritize hauling. Proximal's treating him. The Lancer is definitely dead. The Lancer is now incapacitated. The second shot has missed. Is there, are there more of these things coming? Okay, no, it's just the one. Um, We're just gonna... We're just gonna wall this up when you guys have a chance. 
Just keep treating him here and now. Hopefully he lives. We'll keep this open on the side so we can keep an eye on the treatment. Uh... <laughs> um... I just want to see if the first treatment goes well. Okay, three hours. Okay, I think we can save him. Okay. Neither one is really... Okay, what's your health look like? 75 for body segments. Okay, so this is like a centipede health style. So there's body rings, just like a centipede. One, two, three, four, five, six, however many it has. And a heart and a lung and stuff. Okay, it's not super tanky, but it is definitely like a really strong centipede is what I compare this thing to. And I mechanoid monster has barely taken any damage. Yeah. Yeah, the mechanoid monster is going to win this handily without much problems. It just might take him a while. How, how are you doing, buddy? Okay, Proximal. Did Proximal leave? No, no, dude. Dude. Dude, you're like literally moments from dying. Proximal. Nope, Proximal, do not go back down. Stay upstairs. Yes, and then go treat him. And you should be priority one patient, if that's not already a thing. Okay, you I. And you're priority one doctor, which is good. Just... Already tending. Okay, good. Just tend him, and please actually save his life. I'm gonna pan like this so I can actually see if he leaves again. Yeah, I know this is an extremely unsanitary medical area, but look, t literally hours are the difference between life and death right now. So this thing is incapacitated, and I Reaper is half health. All right, well, there's another one coming. Black Hive Mound. A hive of giant insects. This mound was used by the Black Hive to tunnel to this territory and is now inert and will erode in a few days. Alpha animals. That's what mod it's from. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I understand. Uh. Hey, uh, how you feeling, buddy? You want to, uh, you want to come downstairs? I, I can't walk. Okay, we need somebody... Can somebody carry him downstairs? Is that possible? Okay, let's say we assign a room to be medical. This is now the medical room. Proximal, can you carry him? Rescue. Can you carry him downstairs? Ooh, he can! Sick! Check that out. So he's going to be taken downstairs to the medical room. Oh, man. This has been interesting so far. I'm not going to really uh, say anything more than that. We're going to try to plow down some of this research and also keep our food supply going. And I might make another room just for recreational purposes. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet. Uh, I can build a hallway here, actually. This sounds like a good spot to build the hallway. And we'll build a rec room. Uh, mm, how big should we make it? 8x8 eight eight seems pretty good, and I'm not sure what we'll build over here, but probably going to be another 8x8. Eight eight. It might be just... This will probably be the workroom. If this is going to be the rec room, this is probably going to be the workroom. And I do like my uh, workshops, so it's going to be pretty big. We'll go 17x8. That seems fine. And that'll be our future dig-out projects. Ugh. Ugh. Thank you, Reaper. You, uh, you saved us. And Zoros having some of our corn, which is good. I'm happy she's having the corn rather than eating all the other colonists. Just going to uh, do this and forget about this entirely. Okay. Hey, Proximal. Taking the man halfway to the medical bed and dropping him does not count as you fulfilling the task. Please take him to the medical bay. Thank you. Or his own room, should I say. He's missing an arm. He's missing a leg. Okay, we're going to research prosthetics, and we're going to try to fix him up as well. I'm just happy he's alive. I thought he was dead for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, he's proximal saved you. I mean, you can't complain about that. You were pretty much at death's door. <laughs> I, I, I thought he was a goner, to be completely honest.
I think I'm gonna call episode here. I uh, I don't think I need any more footage for today's episode. To be completely honest, this episode might be short. Uh, we're just gonna keep trying to survive. We're gonna try to push up the research tree and actually start to bang out a few of these just to get some basic stuff going, such as you know candles and a actual cooking stove. Brewing would also be nice. You know the really basic stuff. Uh, maybe if we can learn how to make basic tools, that'll be also nice. Basic crossbow as well. Sounds wonderful. And just, you know, the really mundane stuff. Armor sounds like a good choice as well. Let's actually take a look at armor. Range weapon. There it is. Advanced range weapon. Basic firearms. Better firearms. Do we have, like, basic armor? Here are basic armor and mining gear. Basic blasting. Okay, we got lots of research to do. <laughs> uh, fine armor also would be nice. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll see you guys for the next part. It's just going to be researching for the next part, unless something dramatic happens. Again, time will tell. I'd like to get this guy's corpse, but it's in no way worth risking somebody's life. Whatever. Not a big deal. <sighs> see you guys for the next one. Have a good one, and stay safe out there.